Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I really and truly appreciate it. If you are new here, welcome to Sunsets on Nature's channel. So, today's video, we're going to be talking about alkaline herbs that will be helping us with the upper respiratory system. And as you know, we are dead in the heat of the winter. It is freezing cold out there. There are so many flus and colds and so many viruses going on. And we definitely need to boost our immune system to help it defend against all the bacteria and viruses that are all over okay so today's video we're going to be specifically detailing about herbs that help with cough and sore throat what I discovered is that a lot of the pharmaceutical companies are using some alkaline herbs to make their syrups or their cough drop lozenges, you know, or their medication. Unfortunately, they are filling it also with dyes, chemicals, artificial colors and flavors, and also acidic ingredients that will not be beneficial for your system. And so I decided to make my own homemade remedy for cold and flu for your sore throat. So here are the ingredients that I'll be using in this tea. So we have from the top left, Tilia, which is also known as linden, eucalyptus, oregano, sage, elderflower, thyme, key lime, and ginger root. I also have already made sea moss gel, which I'll be adding about a tablespoon of it to my tea. And also, I'll be adding a teaspoon of agave. Now, in about a medium-sized pot, I brought six cups of water to a boil on high. And while the water is boiling, I scraped and cut up the ginger and sliced them into a few pieces. And I also scraped up the key limes which I'll be adding in later. So what I did was add my ginger root first and bring that to a boil. So which was about two minutes on high. Once you start seeing that the ginger is turning a, color, a yellowish color, that's when you know that it's starting to release its medicinal properties into the water and so you can now start turning off your stove completely and add in your other herbs now remember the leaves and the flowers of herbs do not need to be boiled nor do they need that much time for them to release their medicinal properties all they need to be done is steeped for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you're ready to enjoy its benefits. So I have measured one teaspoon of each herb and that will be going into the water to be steeped. Now I also have completely turned off the stove. Like I said before, the herbs don't need to be boiled because they are leaves and flowers. They just need to be steeped. So. Also, you want to make sure that you close the, the pot so that none of the properties get um, released out. So I'm going to close it and then I'll see, I'll come back 20 to 30 minutes later to see how things are. So it's been about 25 minutes later and um, the herbs have released their medicinal properties. Um, it's actually changed quite a bit um, from when we first placed it in. You can see that it's now uh, almost like a reddish brownish color and it's ready to be enjoyed. 
I've already sliced up the my key line and I've also juiced um, a little bit of it there. So that is ready to go. And I'm going to be straining the, the herbs um, through a mesh and I'm going to start enjoying my, my herbs. So in terms of taste, it has a mild light taste. And when you add the sea moss, the key limes, and the agave, it actually boosts the taste and flavor. You're more than welcome to have one to three cups per day. Um, on this particular day, I had two cups. And you can store it in the fridge for up to three to four days. Um, and then you can re-simmer it back the next day. Well, it was amazing, and thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.